Forget my sister or my best friend. <sighs> my mum would never forgive me if I forgot my sister. I guess I'm gonna have to get rid of Layla. Hey girl, where were you yesterday? Hi. Sorry, who are you? Are you feeling okay? You know who I am. I'm your best friend, Layla. I don't know what you're on about, sorry. Forget my boyfriend or Harry Styles? I guess I'm gonna be single. Hope, you can't do that. What? What do you mean, what? We've been together eight years. You've never even met Harry. Fine. <laughs> I will never forgive you for that. Can we put some music on that, like, we all know? What are you on about? Harry Styles is your favorite artist. You know this song. I've never heard of Harry Styles before in my whole entire life. Forget my mum or my stepdad. I'm gonna have to forget my stepdad. Hey Steve, you can't have anything. No, I'm good. Wait, I thought you chose to forget me. Yeah, I did. I don't know, maybe this is switch. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, you can go help your stepbrother Tom out. My stepbrother? I don't have a stepbrother though. Oh my god. Don't be anything too weird. My mouth? My soulmate controls my mouth. How does he even- Hello, baby. Like, like that? Okay. Hey, bestie! You look disgusting today! What? Why would you say that? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I can explain- Leave me alone! <sighs> this is gonna be a long day. Why are they doing that? Hope, close your mouth! I, I can't close my mouth. What? I can't close my mouth. Ah. Hey, Hope, did you want to go on a date with me later? Jason, um... I would rather roll myself round in blood and then jump in shark infested waters than go on a date with you. I didn't mean that. Yes, I did. You could have just said no. Yeah, thanks for that. You're welcome. Huh. Now you want to have a conversation with me. Name's Max, by the way. Yeah, I don't really want to talk to you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Will you stop? That's so annoying. You just ruined my chances of going out with my crush. Well, you're literally my soulmate. Why would I want you to go out with your crush? Yeah, okay, fair point. But still, stop that. Hey, Simon, look over there! What is it? <laughs> hey, Hope, give me back Jeremy now! Oh, please let me look after him for just one night. I promise I'll give him back. Ugh, fine. <laughs> You're the best friend in the world. See you tomorrow. Bye, Simon! The next day. Hope? What, Mum? I need to go to Simon's house quickly and drop his teddy off like I promised before school. You won't be going to school today, darling. Well, why not? Come sit down. Okay. What is it? I'm so sorry to tell you this, darling, but Simon's dead. What? No, he's not. He is, darling. I'm so sorry. What happened? They don't know. They just found his body by the river. <gasps> Four hours later. Hope, there's somebody here to see you. You better come through. Hello? Officer, why are you here? Well, you were the last person to see Simon alive, so we need to question you. You think I... I did something little old me? Look, that's not what we're saying, but we have to question you. Oh my god! It looks like I found the murder weapon just on the table! Oh my god! You're under arrest on suspicion of Simon's murder. But I didn't do anything! You have the right to remain <laughs> silent. Hope, do you want to be my girlfriend? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Oh my god, I literally had like the biggest crush on you for like as long as I could remember it. I'm sorry, Hope, but it's over. I'm breaking up with you. What? Why? We're not soulmates. Our timer was about to run out and then we both would have died. Jesus, that's a bit extreme. Okay, I liked you, but not that much. Christ. Hey, Hope, do you want to be my girlfriend? We could be soulmates. Oh, I hope not. Sure. Yes, one week. Uh, two. Uh, sorry. Great. You're my girlfriend. So great. Okay, class, we have a new student named Jamie. He's so hot. Isn't he? Okay, Jamie, go and sit over there with Hope. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey. Hey, it's nice to meet you. I wouldn't talk to Hope, mate. She's dating that snot ball. Love you, Hope. Are you serious? It's complicated. I'm with him for a week. We were seeing if we were soulmates. Thankfully, we're not. So that means I can't ask you to be my girlfriend? Could you ask me again? Maybe, but I'll have to think about it. One week later. Hey, Jamie, it's been a week and I'm single. Do you want to be my boyfriend? Don't do it, Jamie. She'll break your heart. I hate you, Hope. I'm sorry, but it's over. Leave me alone. So, what do you say? I'm sorry, Hope, but I have a new girlfriend now, and our time is going to last two years. But we could be soulmates. Well, if you truly believe that, then you'll wait for me, right?
my parents are billionaires, so of course my richness is going to be 100%. 5%? <laughs> No, this cannot be right. Mummy, Daddy. What is it, sweetheart? Why does my richness only say 5%? Oh, the system must be broken. I'll sort it, darling. Don't you worry. Well, you better. I can't be seen with this. It's pathetic. I know. Just put it on private for now. <sighs> Puppy, what time does the yacht party start tonight? I think around dusk. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait. Me too. <sighs> Later that night. Hello, I'm here for the yacht party. Okay, so tell me your richness percentage, please. Why would I have to do that? Because this is a strictly 80% richness and over party. I would much rather put it on private. I'm sure my name is on the guest list. If you don't share it, love, then you've got to leave. Sorry. <gasps> Daddy, this percentage is ruining my life. I didn't even get to go on the yacht party this evening. When are you going to sort it? Um, I've got some bad news. What do you mean you have some bad news? Promise me you'll stay calm because you're really not going to like this. Um, excuse me, ma'am? Hmm? You're mopping my feet. Oh, I am. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm Henry. Henry Hitchcliffe. Um, uh, Hope. Hope Brat. It's nice to meet you, Hope. Henry Hitchcliffe. Let's find out who you are. 22. Just moved to Wales. Your mum died when you were seven and your dad remarried at eight. Seems quite sudden. Thank you, Google, I now know where you live. You will fall in love with me. That's your house. You gave me your full name. There's no way this isn't what you wanted to happen. You wanted me to find you and there you are. Oh my god, he nearly caught me. I really need to be more careful, but wow, he is gorgeous. I'll be back soon, Henry. I'll be watching. Happy New Year! These are different kinds of people at the beginning of each year. Oh, it's January 1st, 6 a.m. I'm gonna lose weight this year. Oh, shut up. I am so hungover. Oh. Hey, Hope, what are you doing? Don't even talk to me. I'm so stressed out right now. Why? Because I have like five exams in two days. But the year just started. I know. I'm aware. So I want to lose at least 28 million stone. Uh, I want to learn how to fly a plane and even buy the moon. What about you? <laughs> um, I haven't got any New Year's resolutions. What? Why not? Because if I'm going to work on myself, I'm just going to do that anyway. I'm not going to let the time of year determine that. But... You do you. I'm sure you'll stick to all of them. This is different kinds of chavs at school. <coughs> Can you like not spray as much, please? You obviously need some and you're just jealous. <coughs> hey, can I borrow a pen? Yeah, only if you know my name though. <coughs> you really think I'm going to know your name? You're irrelevant. I want you at end parties and I bet you don't even vote. No, I don't vote because it's bad for you. You shouldn't either. <sighs> Just give me a pen. Hey, did you dye your hair? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Honestly, it suits you so much. Oh, thank you. I don't want to like embarrass you or anything, but I heard what happened between you and Layla at lunch, and like that's so not okay. So if you want me to like beat a bitch up, just let me know because I got you, okay? Oh, be quiet, sir! I wasn't even doing anything. Don't talk back to me. Oh, right, no, nah, sorry, but I'm done. I'm done with the school. Nobody understands me. No one treats me with respect. <laughs> and send. It's only been two minutes. He'll reply. He's still not replied. He's still not replied to me. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh I love you. active five minutes ago I don't understand why he's not replying to me what did I do wrong 
looks like he doesn't even love me anymore. He takes it back. <laughs> I know that you did, and I know I definitely did when I was younger. I know I can balance you in the middle. Oh. Oh. And that comes up to £237.97. What? Uh, um... What? Uh, £237.97. Oh yeah, no, no, I, I heard you. I, sorry, I nearly just lost my call there. Yeah, I, I noticed. Is, is everything okay? No, the only reason I'm here is to buy food so I can save money on, like, buying takeaway. Yeah, I feel that. Anywho, casual card. No, 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 I, I cannot physically afford that. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to put some food away. I, I, mm. Okay, well, I can help you. You're paying £158 on fruit and veg. So you might want to take some of that out. How? I have a box of strawberries, a pear, and three carrots. Yeah, well, you know, if you want to be healthy, um, fruit and veg is expensive. So maybe have, like, a carrot and half a strawberry or something. I don't know. How does any of this make sense? I mean, I could go out for food every day and spend the same or even a little less than buying my own groceries. Tell me about it. I mean, all I'm doing is scanning food for a living and I basically make the same amount of money as a nurse. You know, someone who saves lives. Well, that doesn't make sense at all. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna have to start living off of, like, yeast or something. Yeast? Yeah, just a big old bag of yeast. Anyways, I can't afford any of this. I'm gonna have to go. So you don't want any of the- oh, Okay, bye! <laughs> huh. Maybe I should invest in some yeast. Year 7's then versus now. Yo! What have you got? Your whole house in your bag? Well, I have my pencil case in there. I have all of my school books. Uh, a fresh change of clothes. My PE kit. I think I put my kettle in there this morning. Be late, Mum. Where's your bag? I'm not carrying a bag with me. I can just borrow a pen off Miss later. Oi, let me push in front of you in the queue. I'm so sorry, you 11. Yeah, you go in front of me. I'll, I'll go to the back of the line. Oi, let me push in front of you in the queue. I've got lessons to go to. You what, blood? I was here first. Uh, you ain't pushing in front of me. I'll get the man down on you. Hi, Jessica. I was wondering if you wanted to be my girlfriend. Oh my God, Jason. Yeah, I love you. I love you too. Yo, why one painting? You wanna be my bird and we can <sighs> share this vape together. This is so hard. Just ask her for the answer. Yeah, and she's a nerd, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, bestie. Um, so I have a question. Uh, how do you- Sorry, what's your name? What? I asked what your name was. 
you're you're joking, right? You you know my name. Everybody knows my name. No, I'm not joking. You're not joking. No. Um, I mean, I've sat next to you like this whole year. You you know my name. Like, I mean, I feel like it should probably be me asking you what your name is because, like, you know, you're irrelevant. <laughs> no offense. I'm sorry. I don't want to offend you, but I don't know who you are. And can you stop chewing your gum so loudly? It's like kind of rude. Are you sure you don't know who I am? I mean, like, I play netball. Like, I'm really popular. I mean, all the boys like me, obviously, because, like, look at me. You're so hot, girl. <laughs> Thanks, Layla. So, like... <laughs> I already told you. I don't know who you are, and I don't know your name. Stop talking, Hope. And what's the answer to number three? Um, can you please just give me the answer? Like, You can't ask other students, Hope. Oh, Miss, I, I, um, I just, I forgot... Uh, the answer, so I was just getting reminded from Natalie. Even I know your name. I don't care. That's an hour's detention after school. Oh, miss, come on. This is the reality of having divorced parents. First, you know it's coming before it's even happened. <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, it's just my parents arguing. That sucks. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but they do it all the time, so I'm kind of used to it by now. Then the day that you dreaded finally arrives. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but me and your father are getting a divorce. Look, you need to know that this isn't your fault and we both still love you, okay? Okay. Have you packed everything? Yep, this is my last box. I'm gonna miss living with you, Dad. I'm gonna miss living with you too, sweetheart. Everybody then starts picking up how amazing having divorced parents is. I wish my parents were divorced. Why would you ever want that? Because you get two birthdays, two Christmases. But if you could only have one wish, you'd wish for them to get back together. Are you coming to my netball game? No, sorry, your mother will be there. Can I please go to a party this weekend? No, you know you say your father's on the weekend. Pretty pill or sporty pill? My dream is to join the Olympics. What's the point in stretching if you already know you're gonna lose? Yeah. I wouldn't be so confident. That's what you said last time before you lost. Oh, I'm going to beat you this time. We both know that's not true. Whatever. <laughs> well done, Ruth. That was your fastest lap. Thanks, sir. Oi, oh. Hope. What the heck? I know you cheated. I didn't cheat. You just can't accept that I beat you for once. Then you'll be happy to race against me. Fine. Whoever wins gets to go into the Olympics and the other doesn't. So if you didn't cheat, then you'd be happy to bet on it. You're on. One day later. To avoid any foul play, you'll both be racing separately and I'll time your laps. Okay. Ready, set, go. Hope, that was amazing. That was your fastest lap ever. Thanks, sir. Good luck beating that. That was also your fastest lap, Emily, but only one of you goes to the Olympics. And that person is... Be a model? Or be an astronaut? Hmm. No. I'm gonna be a model. I mean, look how gorgeous I am. <laughs> I'm gonna be a vet. I'll be a lawyer. I'll be a doctor. What about you, Hope? I'm gonna be a model. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> Why are you all laughing? I mean, come on, look at you. You'll never be a model. <laughs> You'll never be a model, right? <laughs> you guys don't know what you're talking about. Do you not see this model strut? <laughs> Hello. Are you lost, sweetie? No, I'm here to be a model. Can you not tell? I mean, look at my nose. It's got its own booty. Yeah, I can uh, see that. But um, yeah, you'll never be a model. I chose that as my future career. Sorry, but it's never gonna happen. <laughs> Are you upset too? Yeah, nobody believes I can be a singer. <laughs> Don't listen to them. People being mean too. Everyone says I can't be a model. <sighs> I don't want to intrude, but my brother could probably help you out. Really? Yeah, he uh, knows a guy. Tell me more! <laughs> a chav or a nerd? Hmm. Let's see what the hype around being a chav is. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh, bruv! My eyebrows are mint! My hair! Oh, yeah. This is gonna be a good life. Yo, boy one! We're going to the fields tonight to get pissed if you wanna join. Yeah, sound sick. Alright, let's go toilet. But I don't need to go to the toilet. 
I don't care if you need to go to the toilet or not. I need to mind vape. You come in. Oh. Okay. Wow. This is so cool. We actually run these lens. Like, the teachers cannot shop us. <laughs> in it. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, sir. I was in the toilet. <laughs> oh, mate, you bear stink, you know. <sighs> Can I borrow a pen? You don't have a single pen in your bag. Well, I don't actually bring stuff for school. Where do I? <sighs> Loser, man. Happy birthday, Grandma. What did you wish for? Oh, I wish I was young again. Oh become a hundred or seventeen again oh i'd love to be seventeen again oh oh it's happening Whoa! Oh. oh my wrinkles they're gone and oh my beanie i used to wear these all the time and sold them through the link in my bio wow school is so different now hey you're really hot do you want to go out sometime <gasps> Not me in my dating era already. What are you, a hundred? Nobody says that anymore. Oh, how dare you speak to me like that, young man? Hey, girlies, can I sit with you guys? I'm new here. Yeah, of course. Slay! Slay? You sound like my nan. <sighs> Anyways, what are you guys eating? Girl dinner? Girl dinner? What's that? You know, girl dinner. It was on TikTok. I have no idea what TikTok is. <sighs> Oh, I want to be old again. A puppy or a kitten? Uh, a puppy, any day of the week. Hey guys, I got a puppy. That's so cool, I got a dragon. You got a dragon? That's so sick, that can protect you from anything. How's he gonna protect you? I don't really know, I mean, he's a sausage dog. He's not exactly the scariest kind of dog. Exactly. I don't know, maybe he'll kill people with his cuteness. If anything happens, me and my dragon will protect you. Woof. She'll leave you to die. Woof. What? You're a liar. What? You can tell me when people are lying. Honestly, believe me. I knew I couldn't trust you. Mother, Jasmine's been lying to me this whole time. Forget about her. Now go to school tomorrow and I'm sure you'll have a great day. <laughs> She's lying. She's going to attack everyone. You're lying. What do you mean? You're going to attack the school tomorrow. What? <gasps> Hello, are you okay? Not really. My mum and my friends have all been lying to me. I have nowhere to go and the school's going to be under attack tomorrow so I can't even go there. Well, come stay with me. I'll keep you safe. Really? What? Of course. He's gonna kidnap you. Don't go. What? What do you say? <gasps> Everyone can't hear me or everyone can't see me? If everyone can't see me, then I can finally know what people say about me behind my back. See you later, sis. I'm off to school. Who said that? I forgot she can't see me. Hope, is that you? It's nothing. Mommy! <laughs> Fair enough. I'd be afraid to. Okay, time to go to class. I'm gonna see what Jason thinks of me because he's so hot. <laughs> what do you think of Hope? Ah! You alright, mate? Yeah, I swear I just heard somebody ask me what I thought of Hope. Oh, she's a weirdo. Agreed. <sighs> Ow! Why did the wind just punch me? Oh. Love that. I don't care what anybody says. It's not that hot anyway. Hey, girl. Have you seen Hope? No, I haven't. I still need to speak to her, though. You've still not spoken to her. You have to, otherwise she's going to find out on her own. I know, but she's going to hate me. What? What is she talking about?
These are different types of people at school who I hated. <laughs> How did you do on the test? I did awful. I mean, I got a B. I mean, yes, I was one mark away from an A, but like, that's still really bad. What did you get? I got a U. Oh, well, that's pretty good. I mean, you did try your best, so. But you just said a B was bad. Yeah, but it's bad for me. A U's really good for you. Oh my god, look at Monica. Look at what she's wearing and her hair. Right? And look at her shoes. <laughs> oh, she's such a loser. Okay, class, you can all pack up. Yes, Hope? What about the homework that you said you were going to assign us at the beginning of the lesson? Oh, I forgot about that. Thank you, Hope. Why would you remind him? I hate you for doing that. Like one, what? Sorry I'm late, sir. Oh, actually, bear stinks in her. Not to be dramatic, but I'm genuinely sweating my tail off. So these are different types of people in a UK heatwave. <sighs> I'm not moving from this fan. Oh my god. It's 10 in the morning. What are you doing? Having a drink, it is beer garden weather. But I'm sat in the shade, so I'm not a total maniac. <laughs> it's too hot. I'm never leaving the house again. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to get a tan. I could sit in this all day. Are you okay? Why, why are you stressed out? What? Why am I stressed out? I'll tell you for why, right? Because everybody else in the world is saying, is laughing at us because apparently it's not as hot in the UK as it is there. But it is. They don't understand. I could deal with this heat times two anywhere else abroad, but in the UK, it's sticky and they don't understand. And our houses don't have aircon and I feel I'm dying. <laughs> with me whilst I tell you why my daddy is being so horrible to me. It was my birthday the other week and mummy and daddy surprised me with my very own yacht. Obviously I was super thrilled to finally have my own yacht because it was just such an inconvenience when I wanted to have a party but mummy and daddy were using their yacht and I couldn't use it. And so I was even more excited when mummy and daddy told me that they had arranged for me to have a party on my yacht this evening. So long story short, in our family it's tradition to then, you know, give a joint present, your main present, like the yacht, and then give individual presents from each person. Mummy gives me her present and it is this absolutely stunning dress from Louis Vuitton. My sister Minty gets me these absolutely stunning heels from Dior. It got to daddy's turn. He bought me this absolutely atrocious 
atrocious looking Gucci bag. Really don't want to shit on Gucci, but it's just not my style and he knew that I wanted a Birkin bag. And I know what you're thinking, oh you're being so ungrateful, but this Gucci bag was only about £3,000 and the Birkin that he got mummy was £30,000 and the one I wanted was only £27,000. Daddy starts losing his mind saying how I'm being so unbelievably ungrateful because he actually was the one who paid for the yacht, even though it was a joint present. And I was like, well I can't be the only one on the yacht without a Birkin because of course everybody at the party knows that you bring a Birkin to a yacht party. Obviously, Mummy starts profusely apologising for Daddy's behaviour. So, Mummy ended up transferring me about £60,000 so I can afford to have two Birkins for my troubles. Anyways, Mummy also went to speak to my security and told them that despite Daddy paying for the whole entire party, that he is strictly forbidden from entering. And so I'm at the point now where I'm thinking, oh well, do I call Childline? Mummy has been so supportive of my decision of whether or not I want to call them, and so has my sister Minty. But I suppose that is probably because he did buy her a Ferrari instead of a Lamborghini last year, which was just so embarrassing. Oi, will you drive me to work? Sure. I don't know who you are, but you cannot demand my Jamesy boo to do that for you. I mean, ugh, what is wrong with you? Hey, James is my brother. Oh, he is? Yeah. Oh, well, hi, I'm Sarah, his new girlfriend. <sighs> nice new girlfriend, idiot. Jamesy, baby, you spilt some on your t-shirt. Let me wipe it for you. What are you laughing at? Oh, the fact that maybe you're speaking to my brother like he's a baby? You're just jealous. Whatever. You can have these, Hope. What do you mean I can have your car keys? Sarah bought me a new car, but not just any car, my dream car. That's like a £250,000 car. I know. How on earth did she afford that? Apparently she got money when her and her ex-boyfriend broke up. She can't be that bad. I am telling you that she is. I mean, she's obsessed with him. She's known him for like two and a half weeks and what, she buys him a quarter of a million pound car? Cause it's not her money. Yeah, but how did she get that money? Her ex? I don't believe that he just handed it to her. I'm telling you, something isn't right about her. You're really overreacting, Hope. I'm not overreacting and I'm gonna prove it to you. <sighs> Oi, have you asked mum? Your mum's out, what do you want to ask her? Who on earth are you? He's mum's new boyfriend. Hurry up, what do you want to ask? Doesn't matter, it's none of your business. Why would you be so rude to Phil? I wanted to ask you if I could go to a party. You should have asked Phil for permission. No, he's got no authority over me. I don't even know the guy. He has just as much authority over you as I do. Now you're grounded. <laughs> That's what you get. I don't like him. iPad, now. Sorry? You're grounded. Give me your iPad. You're not my dad. You can't take it away from me. Give your iPad to Phil. Mum! I won't ask you again. Give it to him. Yeah, Hope, give it. Thank you. He can't be that bad. I'm telling you that he is. He's acting like he's my dad and he's controlling everything and he's turning my own mum against me. What can I do to help? Can I borrow your phone? Why? I need to Google him and not only has he taken my iPad away, but now my phone. Yeah, okay, sure. Thank you. I'll get it back to you by the end of the day, I promise. Three hours later. Did you find anything on Phil? Yeah. What's wrong? My mum's in danger. Hey, Hope. Hey, Bestie James. I've got you a present. <gasps> oh my god, he's adorable. Does this mean you're my girlfriend now? Ew, no, you smell. Hey, give me the turtle back then. No. Okay, class, imagine a very pretty girl. I don't need to pretend because Hope's sitting right next to me. Ew, what? Uh, James, I told you, we're just friends. Ugh. Thank you for having me over, Mrs. and Mr. James. That's all right, sweetheart. Just make sure you both keep the door open, okay? Why? Because James said you're his girlfriend. Why would you lie to your mum and dad that we're boyfriend and girlfriend? He is not my boyfriend. <sighs> Silly James. 15 years later. Hey, bestie James. So, when are you going to ask me to be a prom day? <laughs> oh, sorry, Hope, but I've already asked somebody else. Wait, what? But... I'm always your prom day. Yeah, and you always specify that it's just as friends, but I found someone who doesn't want to be just friends anymore. Now he thinks it's okay to take somebody else to prom, like- Hope, you always told him that you guys were just friends. Yeah, no, I know that, but- Wait, oh my god. What? You like him. No, I don't. You're the worst liar I know, Hope. Come on. Okay, fine, but how do I make it up to him? I knew it. Okay, what you need to do is- Hey, Hope, guess what? What? You're getting adopted. I Yes, come say hi. Hello. Hey, darling, what's your name? My name is Hope. You're very cozy. What's that? It's Stitch. 
And this is your new bedroom. Wow! This place is huge. And open your eyes. You bought me a Nintendo Switch. Food's ready, Hope. Here you go. Ice cream? Yes, princess. Tuck in. <laughs> Night, sweetheart. Whatever you do, don't leave your bedroom until we come to get you. Hello? Hope no, you weren't supposed to leave your room. Ha! Ah, why is there a three out of three above my head? What is going on, Mother? Why is math surrounding me? Relax. You've got three chances left to touch someone and see how they're significant to you. Oh, right. Okay, well, shake my hand. Oh, no! Why would you waste one on me? Well, that was stupid. I know you're my mother and I'm not adopted. <laughs> oh, I wasted one of them. Hey, sis, I'm getting married next week. What do you mean you're getting married next week? You're 14. Yeah, but me and my boyfriend held hands and found out that we're soulmates, so why wait? <sighs> that is insane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, why is, like, the whole school crying? All the couples broke up because they found out that they're not each other's soulmate. Oh, oh, that's rough. Oh my god, I need to do that. Hey, baby, do you want to try? Yeah, bring it in, Hope. No. It says you're my ex and not my soulmate. Then I guess we better break up. You got the highest score in the test, so you won some air ah, Are you serious? Here you go. Ah. No, Hope, you just touched my hand. Why would you do that? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that, but... But what? Sir, it, it says we're soulmates. Keep your voice down. Just meet me after class, okay? Huh. It's not too bad. Oi! Who are you? Oh, uh, hi. Sorry, my name's Hope. Uh, I think I'm sharing a room with you guys. I've never seen you around here before. Oh, no, it's my first time here at boarding school. Why are you just starting at boarding school now? Oh, well, my parents got divorced and neither of them really wanted me, so here I am. <laughs> I can tell. Um, do you guys maybe want to go out for food? We could get to know each other. No way. We have plans after school. See you later, loser. <laughs> <sighs> this is going to be a long school year. Okay, so like many of you have probably heard, we have a new student here. Her name is Hope. Hope, go sit next to Jason there. Hey, Hope, I'm Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Out of curiosity, who are you sharing a room with? Oh, I think they said the names were Hannah, Melissa and Victoria? Good luck dealing with those three. What? Why? Let's just say that they're into some weird stuff. <laughs> hey, guys. Hope! Oh my god, get out! Close your eyes! What are you doing? Please don't tell anyone. Okay, you can join <gasps> in if you want. Oh my god! Um, are you in <laughs> <laughs> I got you, big sis. You should have seen your face. Don't scare me like that. You could have killed me and... Wait. You screamed. No, I... <laughs> Did you do the homework, Ho? Sorry, sir, I forgot. What about you, James? I forgot to. Why aren't I surprised? I say you all to do one thing, and you always let me sir, down. Sir, you need to lower your... Oh, what <sighs> well, I guess we don't need to do the homework now. Do you want to go on a date with me, Ho? Oh, my God. Shush. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I'm being deadly serious. Would you like to go on a date with me tomorrow? <sighs> I'd love to, thanks. You look gorgeous, sweetheart. Thanks, Mum. But remember, no matter how much you like the guy, you cannot tell him anything about your dad. I know, it's top secret. Now, have a good night. <laughs> thanks. Bye. I've had a really good night with you tonight, Hope. <laughs> me too. I have a question. Go on. I need you to tell me everything you know about your dad. What are you doing? Just tell me everything you know and nothing's gonna happen to you. I can't tell you that. Well, I guess you're going to have to come with me then until you tell me. And you better keep your voice down, otherwise something else is going to hurt you too. So you're the dad and I'm the mum. Does that mean you're my girlfriend? <coughs> no, we're just friends, silly James. We're going to be best friends forever. The next day. Mummy, Daddy, have you seen James? Darling, we need to speak to you about James. Sit down. You won't see James ever again. What? Why not? Because he's not real, sweetheart. Yes, he is. James is my best friend. We play every day. Darling, he's imaginary. You need to forget about him forever. 16 years later. Why do I have to help clean the attic? 
Because you never help around the house. That's so not fair. I bet none of my stuff is up there. The whole attic is full of your stuff. Oh, it's my old teddy. Oh, I used to love this growing up. Three hours later. Found anything? Not really. I mean, I found this old news article. It's quite cool to see what the news was like when I was little. Oh my god, give that to me right what? now. Hey, relax. Jesus. Hope. Wait. Seriously, don't read that. 2008. A little boy named James went missing. Oh, really? Wait, I remember him. No, you don't. He was he was my best friend. You told me that he was imaginary. Um, uh, uh, give that to me right now. <sighs> I'm packing my stuff and I'm leaving. I hate you. I swear if you slam that door, Hope. Here's your test back, Hope. You got another U. Why do I keep getting U's? What is wrong with me? I mean, I'm trying so hard. It's like every single thing that I do doesn't work and nothing sticks in my brain. And, I'm having a study session at my house after school if you wanted to come to that, Hope. Yeah, I would love to go to that. Thank you, sir. Hey, sir. I, where is everybody else? <laughs> everybody else cancelled, so it's just the two of us tonight, Hope. Yeah, okay, me hanging out at my 50-year-old man teacher's house by myself. <laughs> what could be weird about that? And so X is 5. Actually, it's 6, but 5 and 6 are pretty much the same thing, and you're just so pretty. <laughs> um, anyways, would you like some water? Uh, yeah, please. I'll get that for you right away, sweetheart. What a creep. Here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Five minutes later. <sighs> I feel really tired. That'll be the drink. What? Uh, nothing. Um, anyways, I should probably get going. It's late. Okay, but just let me go and do this first. There we go. Why did you lock the door? Because I love you, Hope, and you're never leaving here. What? And send. It's been like two hours. Why has he not replied? He, he definitely doesn't like me anymore. He replied. He put one less kiss in his text. He's definitely annoyed at me. I don't know what I've done wrong. Oh, he's calling me. Okay. Hey, baby, are you okay? I'm good, darling. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good, thanks. Five minutes later. I'm sorry, baby, but I'm gonna have to go. But it's been like five minutes. We literally just got on call. I'm sorry, but I have things to do. I love you, okay? Okay, bye. His tone seemed off. I feel like he's losing feelings. Are you okay, Hope? Why? What's wrong? I feel like James hates me. Darling, he absolutely adores you. Why would you say that? I just... I don't know. I just have this like, little voice in my head that tells me that he doesn't like me. And... If he didn't like you, then he wouldn't be with you. Like, stop being silly. You're just overthinking it. I promise you, he loves you.
Read this. Father! Father, I have been abducted. I am fine. Abducted? It says abduct. Just say abducted. I have been abducted. I am fine right now, but I may not be for Loring. If you do not pay the son of one million doulas. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Loring? The son of one million doulas? What That's the... what it says. That's long and the sum of one million dollars. You know what it means. I don't know what it means. You told me to read this. That's what Just I'm doing. Just say what it means, okay? It may not be for long. If you do not pay the sum of one million dollars, you will never see me alive again. These men mean businesses. <laughs> Who wrote this? Crunch! I think he's pissed about the note. It says businesses. That's what it says. You told me to read the note. You never said to improv it. Oh, improv. What are you, Meryl fucking Streep? Okay, improv the note. These sexually frustrated, degenerate losers mean business. Don't, don't, don't improv the note. Don't improv the note. Come, give me a fucking pen. Read. Dad been kidnapped, send one million or I'm dead. Hey, did you guys want to do something this weekend? We can't, sorry, we're all busy, but we could go shopping next weekend. Oh, yeah, okay, sounds good. Um, I'll meet you guys at the mall at like... Midday? Sounds good. See you then. Next weekend. It's exactly 12 o'clock. They should be here any second now. They're 10 minutes late. I'm sure they'll turn up. One hour later. I don't think they're coming. I guess I should just go home. Hey guys, where were you all on Saturday? We were all at the cinema. Why? We were supposed to meet together at the mall. I waited there for like an hour for you guys. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. We all completely forgot. It's fine. You wanna do something after school? I can't, I've got karate. And I've got the dentist. After school. They're all hanging out without me again. I don't even know why I bother anymore. Hey, did you guys wanna do anything? It's been like three months since I hung out with you lot. I'm sorry, but we've got Jason's party on Tuesday, but you get it, right? Yeah, sure. I'll see you guys later. Do you have strict parents? Then I'm about to call you out. Yeah, but did I tell you about Oh, I'm sorry. My parents are here. I've got to go. What? I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. Do you want to go to the mall after school? I would love to go to the mall, but my parents have been in a really bad mood, like, all week, so there's no way they're going to let me go. I can literally hear what your parents are watching on the TV. Why don't we just shut the door? I wish we could, but I'm not allowed to close the door. Sorry. I think I'm going to be here any second. I don't really need to hide my phone. Ah! Hey, so, you know the... Thing we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Do you think I could order one to your house? Why don't you just order it to your house? Because my parents open every single parcel that I order and I really don't want them seeing that. That's like such an invasion of privacy. Okay, fine. You can order it to mine. Thanks. Shh. I think someone's coming. Quick, pretend we're asleep. Shh. Oh, that's just my brother. Don't worry about it. How do you know that? I've memorized everyone in the house's footsteps. <laughs> How's things going with James? Oh, we broke up. How come? He gave me the ick. This is different kinds of things that give girls the ick. Dry replies. <laughs> Slow replies. How's James doing? No idea. I've not heard from him. But it's 5 p.m. Yeah, I know. Baby voices. Hey, you okay? Oh, I'm so good, baby. How are you? I missed your cute little face. Talking about other girls. Hey, do you like my lashes? Then you. <laughs> yeah, they're really nice. I'm pretty sure Jasmine has loads like that. She was friends with my ex-girlfriend. Good for her. <laughs> oh my god, guys, you need to hear the story about Hope. What happened? Can you not tell that story, please? So we went to the comedy show last night and Hope literally wet herself from laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. You know that's going to embarrass me. Because it's a funny story, babe. Relax, it's not that deep. Things that would shock 2020 me to the core. Right, we're starting off with a bang, quite literally. Dad, dead. It's okay, you're, you're dealing with it. But yeah, that, that happened. You know your best friend in the whole entire world who you've told absolutely everything to? Yeah, turns out she's a liar and you're actually not friends at all anymore. You got into a long-term relationship! Good for you! You did break up a week ago, but hey, at least you're not completely unlovable. 
You know that silly little TikTok account that you have where you post little acting videos? Yeah, turns out, honey, that actually went really well. You have over 5 million followers now. So you know that male friend of yours? You know exactly who I'm on about. Yeah, as soon as you turn 16, like, I mean, like, as soon as you turn 16, it was no longer just a friendship and turned into something a little bit more and you ended up doing some stuff with him, which you now regret. Um, yeah, think about it, darling. You got groomed. You got anybody of his own age, so he waited until you were just about legal. Not even joking, maybe like a month after dad died, uh, a boy hurt you so badly that if you had gone to the police about it, he very likely could have done time, uh, but you didn't tell me about it, because you're an idiot. Let me know if you guys want to hear about more stuff that happened that would shock 2020 me to the core, because trust me, I have so much more to say. You'll only have 100% compatibility with one person. I know, I'm so excited. I hope my boyfriend is my 100% compatibility, because otherwise that would be so awkward and- Hey, breathe. Hey, sexy. <laughs> hey, Jamesy Boo. I love you so much. I love you too. You ready? <gasps> mm-hmm. Hold my hand. Oh, fiddlesticks. 20%. 20%. We can still make this work sexy. James, I'm really sorry to have to do this, but we need a breakup. No. <laughs> I bet we're compatible. This is really not the time, Stephen. What? Why not? Because me and my boyfriend just broke up. Even more the reasons to check. I'll leave you alone if we're not. 75%. That's not bad. That should not be that high. You love me, really. Well, we're not 100%, so bye bye Gross. Right? Kind of cute though. Hope. Right. Sorry. Hey Max, best stepbrother in the world. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. But more importantly, how are you? I heard about the breakup. Oh, well, you caught me. Uh, not great, actually. I mean, I don't know why it was so low. I'm sorry, that sucks. Do you need a hug? Yeah, I, I do, actually. Um, what, what, what just happened? Hope, please tell me that didn't just happen. That didn't. No. Oh no, my my stepbrother can't be my soulmate. What what the what the fuck? See you later, Mum. I'm going to school. What's up? You don't love me. Of course I do, darling. <laughs> yeah, well, your heart percentage says otherwise. It says you only love me 5%. Wait behind, Hope. Yeah, sure. You got 62% in the test, but I rounded it up to 69%. Thanks. I was feeling cheeky, you see. <laughs> wow, you love me 100%. You need to get a life and maybe take yourself into a prison. Hey, babe, listen, I want to break up. What? Why? It says you only love me 15% and that clearly means we're not soulmates. Hey girl, so you know how I love you? Could you please do me a massive favor? No, you're always asking me to do all these things for you and you don't even really love me as a best friend. You're right, stepsis. Yeah, I'm fine. I've just had a really bad day. Hey, uh, how much does mum love you? Probably not as much as you, but 82%. Why? She's not even your real son and she loves you more and you also love me more than my mother. That is weird. You should not love me 98%. You're my stepbrother. Yeah, but we're not related by blood. We can make this work, baby cakes. Ew! <laughs> Hi, can I play with you? Um, it's not my game. You have to ask Stacy. Oh, okay. Spell night. <gasps> That's a hard word. Good luck. N I T N I G H T. Oh, huh? How was that wrong? Maybe, maybe it's the the, the, the the thing with the sword. <laughs> try that. I don't know how to spell. Just try. You have one life left. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, oh, that's the worst that could happen. Everybody shut up. Stacey's on her last life. Spell Stacy. Okay. Yeah. You know John died earlier? We're the last two in our year group left. Jesus. Spell onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia? I I don't know how to spell onomatopoeia. Darling, you have to try. Think, otherwise you'll get shot. I don't know how.
Do you want to know what one of the worst things is? It's when your parents say to you, oh, well, you're too young to be depressed or wait until you're my age, then you'll know what stress is. But then your whole day and every day just feels like this. Hope, wake up, you've got school. Come on, let's go. Hope, I told you, you need to get out of bed. You've got school and turn that alarm off. Do you want breakfast before school? No, thanks. What's the matter with you? Why have you woken up with such an attitude? Morning, Hope. Morning. Hope. Hope. Are you even listening to me? Yeah, sorry. Well, here's your test back. You completely failed it. You're doing the worst in the class. You need to pay more attention. Hey, Hope, do you want to get something to eat? Oh, no, I'm not hungry, thanks. Oh, okay then. We'll see you later. Okay, class, you can pack up your things and leave. I'm home. And you've come back in a terrible mood. It's like nothing I do is right. Do you know what? Just get out of my face. I can't even look at you. Go to your room. Hi, my name's Hope, and I'm addicted to my vape. First time I ever came across a vape when my classmates were smoking theirs in the bathroom and I wanted to be just as cool as they were so me and her met I mean I don't know if it was love at first sight because it started off pretty casual but now I can't even go an hour without spending time with her I mean me and her we eat together we sleep together and I even hang out with her secretly in the toilets of a train what's the longest you've been without it um I think it was probably about nine, maybe ten hours, and that's because I was sleeping. But honestly, I mean, most nights I wake up just so I can hang out with her. And have you noticed any sort of side effects? Um, I'd say I can't really run as much anymore, but why would I want to run when I can just sit down and hang out with her? Has it ruined any of your relationships? Um. Sorry, it's, it's really difficult to talk about, but um, there was this one time when my mum kidnapped my baby um, because she said that it was a bad influence on me and that I'd probably die before her, but honestly, I don't care about living as long as I can spend time with my baby. Three, two, one. Nobody. Nobody has a crush on me, that's fine. I, I don't need any kind of validation off of anyone. I'm fine, I'm totally fine. Hey, how many people have a crush on you? Oh, only seven, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I mean seven, how pathetic. What about you? <laughs> Zero. Zero? Are you okay? I'm totally fine. Guys, guess what? Somebody has a crush on me. You've got to be kidding me. How does Bethany even have somebody like them? <sighs> it's fine. Do you know what? I'm gonna have somebody have a crush on me by the end of the day. I have just the idea. Five hours later. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. You're literally trending for everybody having a crush on you. Maybe uh, type in at Hope Brat on IG and you might see why everybody likes me. I just be popping without makeup. <laughs> wow. Do you understand now? Yes, that was so hot. I'm in love with you. <gasps> what can I say? Last night's party was so fun. You guys went to a party last night? Yeah, but you wouldn't have known anyone, so we didn't invite you. But I'd know you guys. We didn't think you'd want to come. Sorry. I can't wait for Saturday. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a party this weekend? Yeah, I can't wait. Can I please come? I don't think that's a good idea. Kelly, come on, let's invite Hope. It'll be so much fun. Really? Oh, um, yeah, okay, you can oh, come. Thanks, guys. Mum, you're never going to believe it. What? I got invited to a party this weekend. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so excited. I'm going to go stop planning what I'm going to wear. Saturday night. You look beautiful, darling. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. You be careful tonight, okay? <sighs> Mum, I'll be fine. It's just a party. And besides, my friends are going to be there. Hello? Guys? Is this where the party is? Where is everyone? Hello? Hi, Hope. 
Welcome to the party. You said you wanted to come. Well, this is it. You could you see? Oh my god. Whip. Watch me, Nene. Watch me. Hope, guess what? What? You're getting adopted. I am? Yes, come meet your new parents. Oh Hi, sweetheart. Wow. Wow, I love your teddy and your hair. And hi, I'm your new daddy. Mm. Hi. <laughs> and this is your bedroom. Oh my god, this is like a castle. Can you believe it, Jerry? We're big time now. <gasps> and open your eyes. Oh my god, you got me a puppy. We sure did. I'm going to call you Archie. Mwah! Your food's ready, Hope. <gasps> Chocolate for food? Absolutely. This is the best day ever. It's for you, Jerry. And a piece for me. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. Good night, new mummy and daddy. Good night, gorgeous. But remember, you do not leave your bedroom until the morning, no matter what noises you hear. Is that understood? Okay. Good night, sweetheart.